The Soybean Innovation Labs Pan African Soybean Variety Trial Program fast tracks the introduction and testing of commercial soybean varieties sourced from across Africa, the US, Australia, and Latin America. The goal of the trials is to provide the private sector, processors, and growers with access to a broader selection of seed than what is currently available in Africa. In collaboration with Gender Foundation for Sustainable Agriculture, the International Institute of Tropical Agriculture, and the African Agriculture Technology Foundation, SEAL leverages its role as an independent third party to provide access to international, regional, and national supplies of high-yielding and disease-resistant germplasm. The Pan-African Serving Variety Size enables breeders to contribute varieties to a common platform that are tested uh, across uh, all the contributing countries. Uh, in that way, we have the benefit of getting to see how the varieties of other breeders perform in your own country. They say two heads are better than one. Uh, when we work with other plant breeders in Africa and when we get in touch with them and we exchange varieties, you know, some of these varieties come and you find, you may think that what you have is the best, but you could find that actually someone has something better than yours. So we learn from one another and we also take advantage of these other varieties. Starting in just four countries in 2016, the Pan-African trials have grown to 14 countries across 72 locations with 40 public and private sector partners involved. The Soybean Innovation Lab network of technical experts is in the process of bringing 15 new soybean varieties to market and have trialed over 130 different soybean lines. We started in Kenya with four locations with the idea of fast tracking, bringing in uh, commercial varieties into countries so that they could evaluate them and make selections on what works best in their environments. A network soybean researchers, breeders, agronomists, seed companies and processors across Africa has emerged from the Pan-African Soybean Variety Trial Program. This year, the network of over 25 practitioners from 14 African countries and 13 organizations met in northern Ghana for a multi-day training program. The training served as a unique opportunity for the trial operators conducting the program to get together, exchange experiences about the trials in their own countries, and to discuss critical steps involved in the process of delivering new soybean varieties to the market. The training session covered aspects related to the daily activities of implementing and conducting the trials but also went further by discussing important aspects related to registration, licensing and royalty agreement, and commercialization of high-yielding soybean varieties emerging from the trial program. Before the creation of the Pan-African Soybean Variety Trial Network in 2016, the region's breeders and seed companies existed in silos with minimal knowledge of other varieties or breeders operating in the soybean space, nor how their national varieties compared with outside competition. Our varieties are performing in a number of countries, which is what is exciting. So it actually, the platform gives us an opportunity to select varieties for individual countries for commercial production. Right. So what in terms of advancement, in terms of genetic gain, we are seeing an improvement. So the varieties that we used to have in 2016 versus what we have now, we see that there is a steady improvement. The Soybean Innovation Lab, uh, the PAD program has increased our network with other stakeholders. For example, our varieties, they have participated in other countries and they, they are doing fine. So it is very important, like for me and also Malawi as a country, because the part uh, trials, you know, it has given us an opportunity so that our varieties can also, you know, be tested in other environment apart from Malawi. Probably you develop a variety in your country is the best there, but the yield potential may be higher in another country. 
unless you test it, you cannot know. So the PATs will give you this opportunity or give you the platform to test your varieties across uh, other countries. You may come to realize that your variety is even doing better in other countries than your country. And that makes commercialization faster for you in those other countries. We have seen some of our varieties growing here in, in, in Ghana. It's exciting to see some of them are doing very well, others were not doing well, and it's an opportunity. And I think PATS has helped us to have these materials tested here, which we would not have done on ourselves. The trials have fostered partnerships between breeders, seed companies, and agronomists from different African countries who would have otherwise not met. Providing opportunities for a network of soybean practitioners across Africa to grow and learn from each other is essential to creating a lasting impact in a field that will continue to function sustainably in the future. The Pan-African Trials is in charge to connect the, the different areas in a soybean development variety. So, for example, we are connecting the breeders, the researchers, the, the trials operators. Uh, the Pan-African Variety Trials has really increased my network with other stakeholders and our other partners. For example, I'm, I've, I've been working with AITA and um, CDCO companies, like those are private companies. So the coming, the coming of Pan-African trials has really increased even in my knowledge in soya bean, both in breeding and agronomy. Because, it, of course, by profession I'm an agronomist, but with the coming of Pan-African trials, I'm also exposed to many breeding work. So, it has really increased my network as well as my knowledge. We treat them as our partner or cooperator. They have got expertise in soybean breeding and testing. So to that effect, we will be assured of getting good quality data on which to base decisions on whether to advance the varieties right from the testing uh, in view of commercialization or retesting. So the data that we got from him is going to supplement the data from SEAL. So what we have noted is that uh, the performance from his own trial or testing network and also from SEAL, they, they talk together in terms of performance. So we are going to use that to supplement or to complement our own data from SEAL. The Pan-African Trial Network not only identifies high-yielding soybean lines, but also varieties that may have disease or drought resistance, as well as other desirable qualities such as days to maturity and protein and oil concentrations. All of these necessary data is shared with industry processors and suppliers so that they can make evidence-based decisions that ultimately put better, more marketable varieties into the hands of African farmers. We generally, we have limited uh uh, soybean varieties here. I can tell you that we have the, the potentials of the so, uh, uh, soybean varieties here are probably about five. So if we are able to bring in more germplasm from other African countries, uh, from Ethiopia, Sudan, Mali, and then the Malawi that we have seen over there, it will sort of uh, put more energy into our soybean germplasm. That uh, farmers will have a wide range of selection of uh, soybeans for planting. However, if the best seed varieties are made available but are not used by the farmers due to the practice of saving old seeds, their yields will remain low. When farming started, everyone saved seed. But as economies develop and you want new seed, new technologies, resistance to, to rust, resistance to other diseases, uh, it's very important to have new seed, uh, fresh seed, seed that will germinate, and that means that farmers need to learn how to buy seed every year, just like they buy fertilizer, buy inoculum, buy uh, uh, various inputs. Seed is very important to purchase every year, high quality seed. And this would be a, this is a big change for farmers, but if they want to address low yields, they're gonna have to uh, bring in these new varieties uh, of high quality seed that are assured to germinate in excess of 80%. The Soybean Innovation Lab recognizes the criticality of network building among soybean development practitioners in Africa 
to ensure the evidence-based innovations, technologies and guidance produced by SEAL are effectively transferred to partner organizations, institutions and companies ultimately benefiting farmer livelihoods and soybean productivity in sub-Saharan Africa. By fostering, supporting and growing this interactive and committed network of soybean researchers, technicians, companies and development partners, SEAL ensures that soybean development in the region will be sustained.